<laughs> All right, so this is the Bevo. It comes with like an add-on accessory so you can cover the nozzle, but you just open this thing up and drink. Really good, really good nozzle. What do we call this, a nozzle? Mouth, a spout. This is the Aqua Shot. This is like drinking out of a fire hose. This thing squirts a lot, but honestly, it doesn't feel that good. And it like after a couple washes, still tastes like plastic. This is the Polar little guy. It comes with a little cover, which I actually think is kind of annoying sometimes, but the valve is really nice. It goes back into the bottle, nice and recessed. I don't know, I like this one. This is kind of like the gold standard. It's the purest and it's great. It's super simple, it's clean. A little hard to clean when you open this thing up, but it's actually really nice. And this, this is the Camelback. It's got a lock on the top, which I actually find to be really annoying. Um, it's nice that it doesn't drip, but I don't think a bottle should drip that much when it's open anyway. I oh, know, it's fine. And this is the other Polar bottle, same top, just no cap on this one. I, I really don't like the cap, so this one is, is pretty ideal. All right, so now we're gonna see how it fits in a bottle cage. This bottle's a little big for my frame. I think in theory, fits pretty good. Obviously not a great size for a mountain bike for a full suspension. Fits pretty good, a little loose. I feel like this is probably gonna fall out. So this is the purest bottle. This is actually the bottle I use the most, probably why it's leaking. Again, a little loose. This is a side entry cage, so a little easier to access, but you do compromise the fit a little bit on these things. But this has always done well for me. This is the Aqua Shot. Fits really good, but fuck this bottle. So this is the Bevo one. This is actually the one I had the most question about, like whether it fit in a cage well, and it does fit, but it's metal, so it moves around kind of a lot. I think if you're gonna use this bottle, you have to use it on a closed cage and make sure it's tight. Otherwise, you're probably gonna lose your $40 bottle. This is the Polar one, pretty standard shape, throws right in there. Again, kind of same as the Purist, where it's like a little loose, but it actually fits pretty well. So I like the way that this one fits. This is the best blow in a water bottle I've ever had in my life. I just drink pretty much this whole water bottle in like three seconds. It's fucking crazy. Oh, this one squirts so fast, but it's not very good. It tastes horrible. It still tastes like plastic. A bunch of washes later. This is actually really good. This is cute, but if I'm using a space in a bottle cage, I don't think I'm bringing four ounces of water or whatever this is. I mean, it's the same valve as the other one. It just, I don't know. It's cute. That's about it. This one's nice. I will say I put some flavored stuff in here like forever ago and it still tastes like it. I'm not really a fan of that. Because this bottle's really popular, but I actually fucking hate this bottle. It doesn't look good. It squeezes weird. It looks like it's all machiney. Like, I don't like this. This is dumb. And the water doesn't come out very good. I don't like it. Oh my god. Good? Ooh. Second place. Not about the size.